Hi everyone, this is Pierrick from P2 Design. In this new tutorial, I will show you how to bake an HDR map to create your own uh, world lightning. This is not 100% accurate, so I'm sure that some specialists won't like it, but that's a good start and it will allow you to bake your own environment that will be useful if you work on um, architectural visualization and you want to push this to an OpenGL um, or a WebGL visualization or if you have worked simply on a scene and want to create your own HDR based on this. So I will use this scene I've made for Delaware 4 which is a work in progress. You can follow the thread on Blender Artist. Let's get started. First thing first, we need to create a baker, something to create our HDR map. So I will add a UV sphere, turn its shading to smooth, and add a glossy shader here with a roughness of zero. Then we will add an HDR to our scene just to test our baker. Here in the node editor, go in the world shader, use nodes, add input uh, texture, sorry, environment texture, like this. Plug it into the background color. Open and use whatever HDR you have. So I'm using uh, free ones I found on the web. Now we'll get back to the 3D viewport and launch the render view mode, shift Z and see what's happening. Okay, so you can see all the reflection of the environment on our sphere. So now we need to UV and wrap this. Okay. I will put a scene here to have uh, some kind of uh, marker. Then you select everything use face selection and make sure this one is active okay you and you will use u key to open the uv and wrapping menu and use follow active quad length average se select okay and go into the uv editor so usually as they are map uh, are using a ratio of 2.1 um size so create a new map a small one like this call it baker test say okay we will scale everything down for the time being we don't need to be super accurate and you will understand why i put it here put the 3d cursor here select 2D cursor editing so then when I scale it will follow this origin point and then scale and press X to scale only on this side okay now in the node editor of the sphere material and we will call it Baker We will add the texture, image texture, we will source our baker test and that's it. Just make it active by selecting it. Go here. Here in bake, in cycles, we will remove the margin, put it to zero and use the combined and just click bake with uh, a small sample value so that it will be very fast. You can see here the progression. You won't be able to see any uh, evolution in the um, in the UV image editor, but um, you will just have to wait. Okay. So now we can see that our map is flipped. So we have to guess how to turn the UV to be in the right position. So. I go into edit mode, get back here, and I will rotate it 90 degrees. 
mm, I mean minus 90 mirror it it doesn't have any importance for the time being Maybe, sorry mirror x-axis and sy sx okay make it again and see what's happening okay now we have a good result so now what we will do is to uh, refine our UV and the only way I know is to zoom in as much as possible and put things as close as possible to the border like this okay I will select this point shift S cursor to select it and I will go to the next corner here scale it so here our UV is pretty clean I believe now in the 3D viewport I will add a subdivision surface and we will push it to 3 so that we have a good density and it will avoid um, buggy effects on the HDR and we will apply it now if I go into edit mode I have a, a natural sphere that is very very smooth and the UV were uh, subdivided now we need to create a group so that you will be able to use it uh, as you want Control G let's call it Baker let's call the sphere also Baker and save the file Baker so now you will open uh, the scene you want to bake in my case it's this scene that you have seen just before and we will go for some analysis uh, to have um, correct lightning for HDR first of all you may use a plain um, plain um, lightning because it will create reflection on your baker and also I just add a small emissive um, object here so that I'm sure that the corresponding source of light uh, on the HDR will have a value of 1 and that uh, Blender or Photoshop will understand it as a source of light so the result is quite different from uh, what we have on the, on the post processed render but it looks pretty nice and I can easily identify my source of light here we will get rid of the border now we will append our baker so you choose append baker group baker okay it's here and now just make a small test here shift z and we can see all the reflection etc on the baker and this is what we want so place the baker where you want it to be uh, capturing all the light if you are rendering small object you should place it on the on this tray or on the desktop or, or thing like this then reduce its size to uh, a very small uh, value because as it's an object it will also uh, cast reflection and shadows and as I told you before this is not 100% accurate but it allows you to have uh, your own HDR with your own environment and that will be annoying have a big shadow uh, because of the baker then I advise you to use 
full global elimination. It bump up all the bounces of light and that will really increase baking time but you will end with a, a better uh, better map then we will go in the node editor of our object Where is it okay baker so here i have a map we will create a new one uv image editor that's really slow, I don't know why. Okay, oh, that's one of the first results. Let's create a new one. We'll make a two here. And let's bump it to 4K and 2K. And now we will bake the combined value. What you also can do is uh, bake the glossy direct and glossy uh, indirect color so that you will uh, easily identify the source of light. If you want to create the HDR then in Photoshop, uh, there are automation to mm, to merge different uh, image in one HDR, but mm, this is not the case. Here you will use Radiance HDR, even if it has no importance for the time being, RGBA or RGB as you wish. Here everything is, is closed, so there is no problem. And then we will click Bake. So now I've just opened um, a test uh, a test file using the BMW from uh, Blender Benchmark, <coughs> which is available on Blender Artist. I will open here my HDR that is already loaded in my world setting. So I have just added those to be able to make the, the HDR to rotate and also this really short um, combination of nodes to be able to tweak um, the overall uh, lightning here and the power of each lamp. It will allow you to sharpen the, the shadows and stuff like this. This is something I have already covered in the former tutorial which is available on my YouTube channel, so let's dive into Render Viewport and you will see the result. So I expect something a bit dark, yeah, like this. You can see really we have the, the mute and here it's just another sphere with a glossy shader. Uh, it allows me to understand where my uh, HDR is uh, pointing out. So if I increase this value to I will increase the overall lightning while here I will increase the light from the sources so I have stronger light and stronger shadows I will just add the plane so that it will be more obvious for you and we'll set those values to 1 and 0 so this is the default values and you see it's uh, really really dark we'll push the value here even to 1.5 and you see the shadow is pretty smooth if I increase this value and decrease this one I get sharpened shadows here and I have my environment lightning as expected so you can see the, the lamp operation lamp we see before okay and if I want to make the this lightning to rotate just have to make it rotate here on the z-axis from zero obvious here that you can see the the lightning turn 
So I hope you enjoy this new tutorial and I hope it will be useful for you if you want to create your own HDR. Uh, if you have worked on a complex scene or a complex environment or maybe uh, something like an, an architectural visualization, that's, that could be a good thing to do. It will also uh, be, it will allow you for example, to rotate in your 3D environment without uh, any lagging in real-time rendering. And that's pretty interesting for OpenGL project, for example. So I hope you liked it. Next uh, tutorial will be about rigging, rigging. And I will make like two new tutorials of 3D advanced rigging. Hope to see you soon.